Hey guys, my name's Talisha. I'm a funeral director here at PX Durban Funeral Home. I'm going to show you today what I use in my witch's brew for a normal case embalming. Okay, so firstly I start with a chemical called Chromatech Tan. Uh, this is an arterial fluid, so it's what's used to preserve the decedent. The next thing I'm going to use is Permaflow V2, so this just assists the arterial fluid to work better. The next one I use is a water corrector. So our Hamilton water is super hard and has so much calcium in it and it kind of hinders the embalming process. So this is used to just make it a little bit better. This is tint. So this just brings back a natural color to the decedent uh, for viewing purposes. Okay, so I'm gonna show you how much I put in of everything. So I use the full two bottles of Chromatech Tan. Um, the reason why I like Chromatech Tan is it also has a humectant in it. So it restores moisture back to the skin. Next I'm going to use the Permaflow V2. So these you match to your arterial fluid. So because I use two of the arterial fluid, I'm going to use two of the so for the water correctant, uh, you only use a few ounces, so I'm going to use about four ounces of it just to soften the water. Tint. You can only use so much tint. If you use too much, it can be quite the problem. So I only use about two ounces of tint per case. Okay, so on my machine, that gives me about three quarts of fluid. So I'm going to fill it up to the faded eight here, uh, and that's what gives me my whole balance of solution. So now that I have my eight quarts, uh, I'll explain what this is. So this is the embalming machine. Uh, it has different settings such as mix, which I would use to mix the chemical prior to embalming. The next one is pulse, so it mimics a heartbeat when embalming. Uh, the next one is direct, and that's just a direct flow of the fluid. Uh, next one is pressure, so there's low pressure and there's high pressure. I personally embalm on high pressure, but a low rate of flow. Uh, rate of flow is just how much fluid is coming out, uh, and pressure is more how much pressure is behind the fluid that's going into the decedent. Uh, so that's all for today, and I'd like to thank everyone.